朋友们，大家好。Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh, and I'm very excited to jump back in here on my channel and do some more reactions. I uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, I've had a ton going on. Uh, just started a new job, and um, we've had a lot of things going on with the family and things like that. So I appreciate your patience and. Um, waiting for me to come back and I, I thought in coming back I should do uh, a new reaction to a new artist. This is one that you guys have um, mentioned several times and I've seen a lot of other reactors. Um, I see their thumbnails up uh, that they've reacted to this particular performer and so I'm very curious to hear him sing and I believe if research serves me correctly you pronounce his name uh, Zhou Shen. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to his performance of Time to Say Goodbye. And this is actually a song that um, I've performed before and I love it. Um, I've seen Andrea Bocelli and Sarah Brightman did a version of this that was beautiful. And it's one that I know well and, and that, uh, that I like a lot. So I thought it'd be neat to see his take on it as my first reaction here. So if you're new to my channel, uh, one of the things that I do um, at the beginning of my reactions is I actually read through the lyrics and then I kind of talk about what it looks like the lyricist is trying to say through the, the message of the song, right? So that's something that some people really appreciate and, and it adds additional context and meaning to the song and the performance. If you're not into that, what I have done for you is I've added chapters to my YouTube video there. You should see them. And so you can just simply scroll ahead to the next chapter, which should be my reaction. So you can just skip this whole entire section. So feel free to do that if you're not into this part of my reaction. For those of you that are into the lyrics, let's get right to it here. So the song... Uh, as it's been interpreted in English, is time to say goodbye. But from my research, um, it looks like the actual literal translation for the title of the song uh, is actually, the meaning is actually, I will leave with you. So that gives us actually a little more information about what it's really talking about. And so we'll talk about that a little bit more as we kind of go through the lyrics. But from my research, the composer is Francesco Sartori, and the lyricist is Lucio Quarantato. Um, in the English translation that I found for this, I, I always try to find the lyrics for that particular artist that I'm reacting to. Um, but in this case, I looked all over. I wasn't able to find the uh, Joshin specific lyrics uh, for what he's doing. So hopefully these lyrics are accurate for what he uh, is actually going to be singing. Um, when I am alone, I sit and dream, and when I dream, the words are missing. Yes, I know that in a room so full of light that all the light is missing. But I don't see you with me. Close up the windows, bring the sun to my room, through the door you've opened, close. Inside of me, the light you see that you met in the darkness. Time to say goodbye, horizons are never far, would I have to find them alone without true light of my own? With you I will go. So there we go. That's kind of tying back with um, I will leave with you, right, for the title of the song. On ships overseas that I now know. No, they don't exist anymore. It's time to say goodbye. When you were so far away, I sat alone and dreamt of the horizon. Then I know that you were here with me, building bridges over land and sea. Shine a blinding light for you and me to see, for us to be. Time to say goodbye, horizons are never far. Would I have to find them alone without true light of my own? With you I will go, on ships overseas, that I now know. No, they don't exist anymore without true light of my own. And I think it repeats here. Uh, on ships overseas, that I now know, no, they don't exist anymore. anymore. So, I think it's all about embarking on a new adventure together. So one of the comments I saw from someone that has studied the lyrics said it's a perfect song for newlyweds. 
And I would agree with that, right? Because it's, it's all about that kind of embarking on this journey together and um, looking forward to spending that time together and, and growing that love that you have for each other and, and seeing the beauties of the world and um, building that relationship, right? So that's kind of my take on the lyrics. So again, for those of you that are new to my channel, or if you haven't already, if you could please click on the subscribe and that little notifications bell right there. I would appreciate that. It really helps to support my channel and I'm going to be doing more reactions here going forward and get back on track. Um, so again, appreciate your support and patience and let's dive right in here. Got everything set. was not expecting that voice. <laughs> wow. His voice is so high and just light, but yet you can tell there's substance behind it. There's a brightness to it. I like that last phrase where you can kind of hear the, the resonance coming through there and the breathiness. Vocal coaches might call it like aspirate um, type singing or breathy type singing, but he's definitely started it out that way, just like really breathy and and lilting and and high, but it's not super soft. There's still some strength behind it there. So it wouldn't surprise me if if we hear more of that as far as kind of building it out toward the end, especially when it kind of grows. Wow, this is, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit here. So he's doing it pretty much just like the duet, where you have, you know, Andrea Bocelli sings the Italian, and then of course Sarah Brightman sings the English, uh, her English part of it. Um, he's got a strong head voice. Wow, that's strong. That's he's got some power behind it. I don't hear him struggling at all for these high notes. And it's coming through with 
resonance and you can tell also that like he's doing well at kind of as a classical vocalist I've talked about this on my other reactions but you learn about lifting your soft palate you know and creating an open cavity for the sound to come through so that you can have that best possible resonance and he's got a lot of really good habits on that when I've been kind of watching him you can kind of see that he's He's opening things up and the sounds coming through really warm and with power and there's no evidence that I can see of any kind of strain or or uh, improper technique as far as him supporting it and squeezing off the sound because a lot of times when you're kind of really high up there in your head voice and trying to navigate around and and operate up there you you might tend to kind of tighten up or kind of you know strain and then it will squeeze on the sound or sometimes it makes it sound harsh I don't hear any of that with him wow <laughs> this is crazy See how high his cheekbones are? Good breath control right there. Wow. Does it go for the high note? See how open he is? His tongue's forward. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back and listen to that again, that last part. But yeah, I, I made comments there along the way as I was kind of watching him, but as I mentioned before, you can definitely tell he's got, you know, the lifted soft palate. You know, he's keeping things nice and open. The sound is really resonant coming through. I want to listen to that high note again real quick. And I think one of the judges must be singing along in a lower range or something because I hear kind of a lower voice singing along. I don't know if that's part of a track they're using or if it's one of the judges, but maybe you guys can comment on that. Let's see. There's a part I wanted to kind of show you here. He's really lifting that soft palate on those high notes. Hear that? He's not straining at all. Here he goes. On the high note there, he's doing it a little bit differently, and you heard a little bit of vibrato um, toward the end, about three quarters of the way through the holding of that note, but it was more of a straight tone, and that even makes it harder when you're hitting a note like that to keep it on pitch and hold it out, so he's, he's definitely got some great control. Let's see if there's anything at the very end here that I'm missing. <laughs> okay. Zhou Shen. Um, wow. I was not expecting that. 
this is part of what I'm trying to do with my new reactions is I'm trying to not do a lot of research ahead of time on the performer specifically. Maybe I do a little bit of research on the song itself and the lyrics, like kind of like what I did with this one. But I want to come in as far as the vocalist and the performer not really knowing much at all about them. I made a mistake. My second reaction on my channel over two years ago was to Dimash. It was my first reaction to Dimash. And I did a little too much research on Dimash. And so if I could go back in my time machine and do it again, I would come in and not even know much at all, of, if anything, about Dimash and then just go and... I think that would have provided a much better reaction um, as a first time for him. So that's, I'm trying to learn from that lesson. So that's what I've tried to do here. And so I had no idea coming in that <laughs> that's what I was going to get. Um, so I'm relying on you, who are Joe Shin uh, fans out there, to kind of let me know is, is this. The, the range that he sings in for all of his songs, or does he kind of sing in a lower part of his voice? Um, does he have a large kind of range beyond what we heard here? Um, I'd be interested in kind of obviously listening to that and hearing more of kind of his range and, and uh, different parts of his voice. I always love to hear that. So if you guys could comment on that down below, I'd appreciate it. Um, but like I said, he's he's got a great instrument and really great um, control and um, form as far as kind of, like I talked about, opening things up and allowing that resonance chamber to really, you know, come through properly. I, I don't know if you heard my comment at the end there, but like on the high note, one of the things I noticed is that his tongue was forward as well, so that's another thing that you learn as a classical vocalist because if your tongue is back in your mouth then it can block off the air coming through from your throat right um, so you want it forward so that it allows that air to come through freely um, with full resonance I mean there might be times where you would intentionally push the tongue back or something like that if you're trying to create a specific type of sound I hope that you understand that when I say something about the form someone uses or different techniques, that that's not like the only way to sing in every situation, because that's not the case. Um, a lot of it depends on the sound you're trying to create and the, the texture and the timbre you're trying to form as part of that song. And, and the, it's like a painting, right? So. Someone might use green, and someone might use green combined with other colors when they're making a specific painting of something, right? So that's the way I look at music as well. It can take on a lot of different colors and textures and um, things like that. So amazing. Uh, that blew my mind, as you probably noticed. So I'm definitely interested in in hearing more of Zhou Shen and let me know if I'm pronouncing that right and how my Chinese was at the beginning. I, I love to kind of get feedback on that and, and correct my pronunciation um, and make sure that it's as accurate as possible to what it should be. So, um, and what I usually do with, with um, artists like this, so Chinese is not one of the languages I normally translate my subtitles into, but if there are enough of you out there that would like for me to uh, add Chinese to the list of languages I translate my subtitles into, then I'll be happy to add it. But I will definitely add it for this one because that's what I do. I, I want to make sure I have the language of the artists themselves available as part of my subtitle list. So you'll definitely see that um, on the list, if not already. And um, yeah. The thing I, I usually do at the end of my reactions that I'll do here as well is I, I love to look out to all of you around the world and let you know that you need to know that you are loved, you are special, and you can accomplish your dreams. If you are going through hard times right now, and if you need a little inspiration and encouragement, 
and I hope that you get that through your experience on my channel and and through the music that we enjoy and learn from together. Uh, that's the goal for me, for my channel, is to reach out across the world and, and inspire and, and um, teach and bring us together as a community. Uh, that's why I have the theme for my channel, um, Music Lights the World, right? It's because it's the universal language and it does. It brings happiness in a way that nothing else can to all of us universally. So again, thank you for all of your support out there and take care.